What's up everybody? We're back with another indoor pond build video and uh, we're, be we're gonna be using the same tub but I'm gonna be giving you, you know, a more step-by-step -step process and uh, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. This is for the mud turtle that I did put in this pond right here which is doing amazing. I actually put the baby albino turtles in there and they just love basking up on this big bush right here. Let's see where we can find the other one. Maybe it's back there. But the mud turtle is still in here. Um, let's see if we can find them. Where is he? Hold on, give me a sec. Okay, so yeah, he's actually behind that pump right there. I don't know if you can see him back there, but let's go ahead and get started on this uh, pond and I'll bring you guys along the way. We are, I do got some sand right here that I'm going to be using because I, I noticed that he likes burying himself and all this is is rocks. So that's why I want to move him, which this is perfect for the red-eared sliders. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be putting him in here with the sand. Um, and then setting up a basking platform and everything for him. And as I did here, look at this. So I actually silicone a, uh, um, what would that be called? I guess just a lamp head. I don't know, a lamp at the uh, bottom of this table. And, uh, and then I put a, uh, 125 heat bulb in there and it just heats up this whole area. And then I also have, you know, the regular UV uh, bulbs and uh, basket bulb and uh, my ZooMed um, dome for the regular basket area. So, uh, and then <laughs> I just duct taped these uh, LED strip lights that I took off of a uh, fish tank um, lid. Like, um, don't you know? Go to PetSmart and you buy a fish tank. It has those lids with the LEDs on them. So I just took those out and I hooked them up here. And I think it looks amazing. So yeah, we're going to do something kind of like that. I'm not exactly too sure what I'm going to use as the heat bulb. Because I can't just silicone it on there. Because this isn't uh, plywood. This is, you know, um, just a plastic material. So I kind of don't want to silicone it onto this. So I'll probably end up, you know, using a, a, a desk lamp or something in that corner back there and having it hang over for the basking area and then using one of those uh, heat domes uh, or, you know, the dome light fixtures and hang it right on that bar right there. So the basking area will be right here, but it'll heat up this whole entire area. Um, so I think that's what will work best. And then I also probably will be taking a few of these bluegrass guppies in here and uh, throwing them into the pond. They're just breeding like crazy in here. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, sand rinsed off and in here and uh, I'll show you guys after. We're cleaning all the sand. I got the hose running this this direction, going around, spinning, and into my uh, little pump right here, which is in the pot, so all the sand doesn't get stuck into the pump and out of the house. Um, so yeah, it's working out, and I just been stirring up the all the sand here and there to get it back up in the water column, so all that dirtiness gets out of there. Um, but yeah, once it clears back up, I'll, uh, show you guys so that we can start working on the hardscape. Um, but yeah, it's actually been going for like an hour now. Um, I've been adding more and more sand to it and cause I really, really, I want it really, really clean because this mud turtle, I know will go digging all throughout this sand. So I've just been uh, mixing it up and there's probably about 80 pounds of sand in here right now which is pretty crazy I mean it's 
a thick layer of substrate. Um, but yeah, I just want it really clean so that when he moves around, all the water doesn't just get dirtied up every time. Um, so yeah, I think it'll just take some time, but this is, seems to be working out for right now for uh, cleaning it. Usually I would just take it outside and put it in a bucket, but I just wanted to clean all of it at once and I didn't want a lot of it flying out like I wanted it all to stay in the enclosure because I wanted you to be able to use all the sand and usually I always have sand all over the grass or whatever I do it you know what I mean um, so I think this works is working out better than what I have been doing um, so yeah Look at that little box turtle, so cute. I'll show you guys when it's all clear. All right, so it's looking pretty dang clear. Let's go ahead and uh, get some basket rocks, rocks in there. Um, I have one right here, so let's get that in. exactly how I want it yet. Um, I need to go get some more rocks real quick. Grab the one right here. And, oh, here's the other ones. One of my paintings fell down. Or not painting, but my pictures that I had up. Sorry guys. Alright. So these are the rocks we got to work with. And guard, you know what I want to do. This one, put it right on top. I don't know. I don't think I like that. Oh. How about? Maybe we... Okay, I'm gonna cut, situate these because I need both hands and then I'll show you guys what I come up with. So it's simple, but it works. Um... I didn't have much hardscape to work with right now because, you know, I have to create so many winter habitats for all these rescues I got, but uh, I wanted them to make, you know, feel secure, so I uh, did the best I could. I, back there, I have a little pump going with a filter bag over it that uh, I'll have for the filtration for now, and I actually took a sponge out of another um, aquarium that's been, you know, going for a while now and sque squeezed it in here. So there's some beneficial bacteria already, you know, coursing through this puppy. Um, but yeah, I think he'll really like it because he's got a lot more room to swim around in. I mean, it's the same size, but in the other one, as you can see, there he is. Um, you know, he just has a lot more things that he runs into and he likes swimming around and exploring. So, uh, yeah, I think he'll really like this. Um, I'm just letting it settle right now. I'm about to add some plants and, and a few. I'll go ahead and turn on that heater. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it's looking really good right now. So let's go ahead and get some duckweed in here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and also put some guppy grass as well. So let me go get that went ahead and uh, put the plants in and this is the final touches 
This is the, you know, the final look. At least for right now. But I uh, got the guppy grass up in there. There's actually a lot of it, quite a bit. And then tons of duckweed. I think it looks pretty nice, pretty nice. Got the heat bulb right there. And I don't have a... Uh, um, a UVB bulb or a uh, a full spectrum bulb. I'm gonna go ahead, or I, I do have the bulb but itself, but I don't have um, a lamp to put it in. I hope you enjoyed me building that uh, mud turtle his winter habitat. Uh, I don't have a name for him yet, so drop one in the comments if you have a good one. Uh, like and subscribe if you did enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.